Hello, so Speak Now Taylor's version just got released today, so I want to honor that by having Taylor Swift Day, so let's get into it. Taylor Swift Day is going to have three phases. The first phase was doing my hair, makeup, and outfit to be inspired by Taylor, so I already did my makeup off camera, and I just went with a matte base, winged eyeliner, and red lipstick, and then I went ahead and curled my hair, and I accidentally pulled a little bit out when I was taking out this clip, and it really hurt. Um, so of course I had to sing along to the Speak Now album while I was getting ready, and that was super fun. And I hope you enjoy this satisfying little montage of my curls kind of coming out of the wand. This was super fun to make. And then I had to spray it all down with some hairspray, and it of course smelled really bad. Then I just brushed out the curls with my fingers, and I tried to do Taylor's little swoopy thing that she has with her bangs, but it didn't really work. But anyway, this is how the hair and makeup turned out. It doesn't look exactly like Taylor, but I thought it looked cute. Then for my outfit, I didn't have any dresses that looked like Taylor's dress from Speak Now, but I have this dress and it reminds me of folklore. So I went with this and I really love this dress and I thought it looks really pretty. Okay, so since I've basically been listening to Speak Now Taylor's Vision like on repeat all day long, I wanted to rank her new six songs in order of what I liked the best. So for number one, I have I Can See You. I really, really like this song actually just because it's so catchy and I heard it like once and it was already stuck in my head the whole day, but like in a good way. So I think that one's definitely gonna be one that I like play in the car and sing along to, so I'm very excited. So that's my number one. My second is probably Foolish One just cause that one's also really catchy and it's just really cute too. And third is When Emma Falls In Love. I really like Taylor's like storytelling songs and I think that's definitely one that I'm gonna go and listen to a lot because it's just so cute. Um, fourth, I have Timeless and then fifth and sixth is Castles Crumbling and Electric Touch. I don't have any issues with those songs. I'll probably like, I find as I listen to her songs more, like my ranking kind of changes. So I'll probably like still enjoy listening to those ones, but they just didn't stick out to me from day one. So that's my ranking right now. Let me know if you have like a different favorite. Okay, so the outfit and the makeup and the hair was just phase one of my Taylor Swift evening plan. Um, phase two is to learn one of her new songs on my guitar. Um, so I think I'm gonna try I Can See You. I just have to check online if there's tabs already since this is a brand new song. Um, and if there is, then I'm gonna go ahead and learn the chords and the strumming and then just kind of jam out to Taylor. Okay, B minor, G, A, D, E7. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Cause I can see you waiting down the hall for me And I can see you up against the wall with me What would you do, maybe if you only knew Yeah, I can see you Okay, cool. So my B minor chord needs a little bit of work, but other than that, the chorus is pretty much learned. And I'm excited to go ahead and learn the verses and the bridge and just have the whole song like all together. Um, so I really like this song and I'm glad that I started to learn it because I think I'm gonna have a lot of fun singing it And if I'm being honest, I don't love the way my singing voice sounds and it made me for a long time Not want to sing just because I hated my voice and I was really embarrassed and I just thought it was so awkward to sing Like even if no one was around like I was awkward by myself <laughs> Like I was like cringing at myself just like trying to sing and trying to sound good But I think it's an important lesson just even if you think you're bad at something if you love it just do it anyway I don't think Taylor would want us to not sing because we think we're bad. I think Taylor would want everyone to sing her songs. <laughs> so yeah, I guess I just wanted to say if you've ever just not wanted to sing or learn an instrument because you felt embarrassed, you felt like you're bad at it, just do it anyway because honestly, like, most people are bad at singing if you think about it and, like, most people don't even play the guitar or play any instrument, so you know, even if you're really bad, you're not going to be worse than average. Like, if you're terrible at singing, well, you're just like everybody else. But now it's time to go on to phase three of my Taylor Swift themed night. Phase three was to go on a date to Menchie's, which is a place that Taylor has gone on dates before, as can be seen by these really nifty paparazzi photos that were pasted inside the store. So then I went and grabbed my frozen yogurt. I tried to get one of those aesthetic little frozen yogurt swirls. I'm not totally sure if I was able to accomplish that. And I was a little bit nervous to film in public because I was worried it was going to be like all eyes on me, horrified looks from everyone in the room, but it turned out to be fine. So here I am grabbing some sprinkles and then this is what my final dessert looked like. We did have to skedaddle pretty quick though because I'm pretty sure that place was haunted. <laughs> okay, sorry. And here I am showing off the final look. I really liked how this whole look turned out. I thought it was really pretty. Oh, bet you didn't see me there, did ya? I've been wanting to make a fun little video like this for quite some time, but for a long time I didn't because I was worried it was going to be really hard to do. But then I was sitting on this park bench thinking to myself, hey, isn't this easy? 
Okay, sorry, last one, I swear. Then we ended off the night playing on this playground, but then we had to run home because we were getting eaten by mosquitoes. So that's the end of my Taylor Swift day. I had a lot of fun and I would strongly encourage you to try recreating a day after your favorite artist. I would also encourage you to try like picking up singing or the guitar or just giving it a go even if you're afraid of being bad at it because music is just meant to be shared and it's just meant to be for fun. So if you've been wanting to sing and you haven't, you should definitely go for it because Taylor would want you to. Um, but yeah, anyway, thank you for watching my video and maybe I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.